Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Um, I am making dinner. What do you know? I'm making dinner. Um, tonight I'm going to be making loaded potato soup, which is one of my family's absolute favorites. Um, it goes together really, really quickly, so I, would th I thought I would just share it with you today. I'm going to be doing it in my quick cooker. Um, I usually do this recipe in the slow cooker, and it takes all day to kind of simmer and all of that. Well, I'm a little short on time today, so I'm going to see how it turns out in my quick cooker. So the recipe for this is pretty simple. I've got onions. This is just one onion. And I am using my food chopper. And then I've got uh, four cloves of garlic here. You can use as much as you like or none at all if you're not a garlic person. Um, and I just break this down until the voices in my head tell me to stop. So that is all of that broken down. Now I've got my pot here. Um, this comes directly out of the quick cooker. This is um, the thing that goes right into the, um, into the dishwasher after you are finished um, doing that. So you can pull that right out and then you have that ready. Now I'm gonna do up my potatoes. Um, these are, I'm going to just slice these. So this is my simple slicer. The hardest part of this recipe is actually getting all of the potatoes, um, not uh, sliced, obviously, because the simple slice does a really good job at making that quick, but um, peeling all of your potatoes. Um, I had, I have some leftover um, red skin potatoes from when I made um, beef burgundy the other night. I'm using those, and then the rest of these are just russet potatoes that I'm going to go ahead and chop up. Now, of course, you could do this by hand with, you know, a uh, knife, but, you know, we're saving time today with my simple flitter, with my uh, rapid prep mandolin. So, so it actually takes longer for me to peel all of the potatoes than it does for me to chop them. Now, um, this rapid prep mandolin, you'll see that I just used the chop, the chop setting. Um, it also has a fry cut, so you could do french fries. Um, you can control the thickness of the cut as well. So if you wanted to julienne, um, or if you wanted the, the cut to be a little bit thinner, you can certainly do that. So there's a fry cut, a julienne cut, and you can choose the thickness on that. So I've got my potatoes and my onions and my garlic. Um, this is some kosher salt, some uh, just regular black pepper, and some thyme. And I'm going to just sprinkle that in. Guess what? Enrichables time. Remember the enrichables we talked about? Pea protein. Um, potato soup doesn't have a ton of protein, so I am going to boost this up. I'm just going to do like three scoops of my pea protein right in there. Remember that our enrichables, we have the pea protein. We also have kale and fiber and super veggies. These are not just available for purchase once. You can also do a subscription for these, so they, get, they come every single month, which is outstanding. Now I'm going to add a couple of pats of butter. You can get real crazy with your butter if you want to. Um, it makes uh, the, the soup obviously more buttery. So I'm going to do a couple tablespoons of butter. Now um, I also have bacon because bacon makes everything better. I just cooked this up in my stainless steel uh, cookware. Uh, the non-stick kind, um, and that is one whole thing of bacon. Um, it only calls for, you know, like a couple slices, but who's got time for a couple slices, you know what I'm saying? Now, the next thing I have is chicken stock. Um, remember those videos I told you that I make my own chicken stock and vegetable stock by simply saving the bones from like a rotisserie chicken um, and saving all of my vegetable scraps? This is my chicken stock that I've been keeping in the freezer. So it's perfectly lovely to use in my soup for today. 
and I put all of that in there. I'm going to give this just a quick stir to kind of move my ingredients around in here. And that is looking, well, it doesn't look very lovely yet because it's not soup yet. But I can show you what it looks like right here. That's what it looks like. Isn't it cute? So I'm going to go ahead and take this big old mess and put this big old mess into my um, here we are at the quick cooker. All of my mess is in there. It doesn't look very pretty, but it's gonna. Um, now I'm gonna come down here to my quick cooker and I look at my settings and I'm gonna come over to this one where it says soup and stock because I am creating a soup. So I am going to do this until that beautiful blue light, which is not very noticeable. <laughs> there it is. See, it says soup and stock. And we're gonna check the time, 30 minutes. Remember when I said that I usually do this soup all day in, the, in my slow cooker? I'm going to do this soup in 30 minutes. So I take my quick cooker lid. I pop it on. It's going to sing me a song because it loves me. See how it's not flush with the other sides? It is not locked. Now it is locked. And all I need to do, this is, we just make sure that this is set um, so that it's, it's corked basically and we press the start key. This is going to start heating up inside there and pressure cooking my soup. And in 30 minutes, I'm going to have beautiful creamy potato soup. And I'll check back with you to add the rest of the ingredients and serve it up. Okay, friends, it has been 30 minutes. As you can see, we're down to zero and up above the zeros, it says warming. So that's gonna keep your food warm for now um, until you're ready to serve it. So I have some things that I'm going to be adding. Um, all the things that are in there right now is mostly the potatoes and vegetables. Um, over here, I have two cups approximately of cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese. This is about three quarters of a cup of sour cream, and this is three quarters of a cup of um, heavy cream. And we're going to add that um, into our soup in just a minute. I have a guest here with me today who's going to demonstrate how we how we release the pressure. This is my son, Christian. Can you say hi? Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. You're lovely. All right. Now, you see, oops, you see that the plunger, the red plunger is up. That means it is pressurized. You cannot remove the lid when it's pressurized. So Christian is going to push the button. <laughs> Just push it and hold it down. There you go. <laughs> It makes noise. It does. And that is releasing the pressure. But you notice that Christian's finger was here and not there. That's the big thing with Pampered Chef. Our quick cooker is super safe because your finger does not come anywhere close to the release valve. And all of that steam is releasing the pressure from inside the pressure cooker. And that's what cooked our food. So in just a moment, that steam will stop, and then we can remove the lid safely, and then we'll go to our next step. Okay, friends, it's been, oh, about a minute or so. Um, you can see that the steam has stopped over on the top here, and that the plunger has gone down. It is no longer popped up. So that means that the pressure has been released, and this is safe to open. So how do we open it? You just grab it, twist it. It sings me the song of its people. And then you pull it off. Gorgeous, look at that. Now you'll notice I don't have to have any kind of, you know, um, hand protection to touch the lid, to touch the sides. Now the bowl in there is going to be very, very hot. And you can see our beautiful potatoes and all of that bacon and the onions and butter. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. So what I'm gonna do right now um, off camera is I'm going to just mash everything in there and then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. Alrighty, so that is everything just basically mashed up. I used a potato masher um, to mash that up. If you have an immersion blender, you can certainly do that if you're that fancy. Um, or, you know, if you just have a couple of spoons, that's completely fine too. So that is our soup base and now we're going to add the accoutrement. 
to make it really, really delicious. So my son, Aiden, my youngest kiddo, is going to help me with that. Aiden, go ahead and grab, <laughs> nice, go ahead and grab the cheddar cheese. And then you're just going to put that right in. Careful not to drop the bowl into it. That's a good idea. Yeah, you can use two hands, buddy, if you need to. Just be careful with that bowl. Get your finger in there, dig it out. <laughs> Who said I have to? Everybody's gonna be having Aiden's finger. Okay, shoes. that's fine. There's a couple of things left in there, and then be all right. Okay, next, take this cream and put that right in there, very slowly and carefully. About three quarter cup of heavy cream. Beautiful. Look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? You sure this isn't just melted whipped cream? <laughs> well, it is heavy whipping cream. Now you're gonna take the sour cream and this, uh, the spatula, the um, mix and big, scraper. Big thing. Yup, and scrape all of that sour cream carefully. Don't drop the bowl. Nicely done, like a pro. Get in there. Very good. Okay, careful. Crazy maniac. All right, now I'm just gonna take this and we're gonna stir this in. You said I Isn't... couldn't do that. Okay, do you wanna do it? Go yes. for it. Just kind of fold everything in there. Beautiful. Now the soup is already cooked. So what we're doing now um, is we're kind of melding the flavors and adding some creaminess. And obviously you saw all that gorgeous, gorgeous cheese that just went in there. Um, so what we're going to do now is um, we're going to allow that to sit for five or 10 minutes. And um, we are going to let that cheese melt. We'll give it another stir and then we will uh, spoon it into our bowls. Okay, you can take the spoon out, Aiden. Tap, tap, tap right onto the side here perfect now we were just using the quick cooker lid this also comes with this kind of a lid that's what you would use if you were look, uh, using the slow cooker i'm just going to put that on right now so that we can melt that cheese it's getting humid um, you'll also notice that my timer is still on this is going to continue to warm it um, so it's not getting cold as we're doing this so we're going to finish this up and then i will show you the finished product we have our beautiful soup all spooned into our bowls and I am just gonna make make a little fancy schmancy. Now, what I've done is taken my uh, one cup prep bowl and put a little bit of sour cream um, and I just diluted it with a little bit of water and what I'm going to do is just kinda make a little swoopty swoop in each of my bowls. You don't have to get this fancy if you don't want to, but I'm feeling fancy today. So there's my little swoopies, and then take, if you have green onions, that would be amazing. If you have uh, extra bacon bits, that would also be amazing. A little bit of cheese on top, and dinner is ready. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.